All right. Hi, everybody. Um, it is Friday morning, the 13th. Friday the 13th. Woohoo! Lucky day for some of us. Um, I just pulled in my driveway. And, man, how many ways can lift find? I mean, every time they redeem themselves with me, they find another way to burn me somehow. And I'm sure everybody else is the same. Okay, so what I want to talk about is um, the pros and cons of keeping your Lyft app on. In other words, staying available when you have a rider and you're on a ride. Okay, now with Uber, I really like this because they'll line me up and stack me with rides. And that's great because they keep me busy. And the difference is, and you all know it because it's happened to everyone. If you stay on your app when you have a rider with Lyft, if you don't turn on your last ride... They will hit you with another rider in your queue. Okay. But the way they're paying now, that's not working. Okay. So I've had this happen to me a couple of times. Okay. We all know now they're, they, they cut our pay again, at least in, in my market in Phoenix. And so they dropped us back to like, I think it's 35 cents a mile. And then they're paying us 15 cents a mile and the same 30 cents a mile or 35 cents a mile to get to the ride, which a lot of times can be a really short distance. Um, so what I'm finding is, and it happened today earlier again, and it happened to me a couple of other times is I'll have a rider in the car or not even okay but I'm on a ride and I'm heading towards the ride and the next thing I know they've switched me to a different ride okay so what happens is I didn't get paid for the time on the first ride because they switched me or they switched me because the first rider canceled and I don't get paid for that time and I don't get a cancellation fee. Okay, well, yeah, that's the way it works too bad. Oh, well, but when I'm headed to a ride and then the rider either cancels I lose, you lose, we all lose, okay? But even worse than that, when they switch you to another ride, and then the second rider cancels, and you still, you get paid for nothing. Um, so, and, and I'm a little bit confused about exactly what I'm talking about, but... Basically, it looks like if they switch the ride, you lose out on the time and mileage you were already headed to the first ride, okay? And then if, if it's because of a cancellation, either on the first ride or the second ride that they switch you to, you don't get to cancel on it. Today, um, after what happened, I was on a ride... And they switched the ride. But um, the second ride canceled. Okay. So I didn't get paid on either one. And then after I was clear and didn't have a ride on my screen. I see my text and I found out the first rider got canceled. Okay. So you got to watch that. Um, because either way they're... they're they're finding a way around uh, paying you 
on the first ride when they switch you to the second ride and they're not paying the cancellation fees. I know on these rides that it's more than two minutes. And I don't know, maybe Lyft is different. Maybe Lyft is five minutes and maybe I'm not getting paid but because it's not five minutes. But there's something fishy. Um, because again, you know, you're headed to a ride, you're going to the ride for three or four minutes, you're on your way, a lot of times you're halfway there, and they'll suddenly switch your ride. Okay, so you're not getting paid on the first ride headed there. Um, so basically what they've done is they've wasted, wasted your time because they're supposed to be paying you on the way there. Um, now on the, on the flip side of the coin, um, as long as they're not canceling and switching rides on me, if Lyft keeps me moving from ride to ride to ride to ride without a low time in between, I think I'm probably coming out ahead. Um, but it's hard to tell. If they keep me moving, what that means is they're paying me all the time. So they're paying me to go to a ride, pick it up, and then they put a ride in my queue. And so as soon as I drop, I'm getting paid again onto the second ride. And that works out as long as... Uh, as long as they're not switching rides on me or you or canceling rides on me or you, that works out. But here's the thing with Lyft is I, I find I can't trust them. I mean, at least I know what to expect from Uber and what they're going to do. Okay. And if they're going to pull something, they're going to pull it to my face and your face. But Lyft does, Lyft is really covert <laughs> about those things. Um, you know, it, it, it's just, it really sucks. And so just, I'm just saying, watch out, pay attention. Um, and, you know, just also another, another little bit of information is, if you go down to the hub and you complain, you might get some cancellation fees. Um, but otherwise, uh, just trying to deal with them is just a nightmare. Because they take days to get back to you if they get back to you at all. In fact, they've never gotten back to me when I've sent in an email. I always have to go down there if I want or need something from them. Um... And if you watch the last video, you are aware that um, they burned me on the destination filter coming back from Tucson twice. Um, but of course, as soon as I got back into town, um, I got Uber telling me I got to take a picture of my face and I'm doing 75 on the highway. So I was going to have to pull off the exit to do that. In the meantime, Lyft got a ride. And guess what? The ride went right by where my destination filter had been uh, trying to take me that they turned off. But anyway, yeah, so uh, I'm going to go in the house. My dogs are probably wondering, what is she doing sitting in the driveway? We want our treats. Um, so I'm going to say goodnight. Um, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and all that stuff. And I'm supposed to be saying this is Raven from New York speaking from Phoenix. All right. Talk to you guys later. Uh, one more thing, just in case anybody's wondering. Um, I haven't made a video in like two or three weeks. And the reason why is because I don't make a video unless I have something to say or I'm pissed off usually um, because I just have so much stuff going on, um, and I'm still kind of, uh, deciding really where I want to go with this channel and how serious, and, um, 
I don't know uh, what that is going to be about. Um, I've got a couple of things up my sleeve I still wanted to make videos on uh, that I haven't yet. And I'll probably get around to do that. And I'm probably going to try to get more consistent because I, it looks like I am going to be transitioning over from the Prius into a black Suburban. And I will be able to start doing the XL platforms um, and the Lift Lux. And I also will be able to do Uber Black because um, we have an Uber Black account in my family. But, um, so yeah, because uh, based on uh, some things I'm hearing from another YouTuber, uh, C CEO Drive Her, who has it going on, um, her take on what's going on with the algorithms is that they're, they're starting to condition people to start taking the higher tier rides with comfort so basically once i'm in the black suburban i can do comfort i can do xl i can do black xl i can do black um and i can do lift lux um so um there's not a lot of that work here in phoenix my friend that has been doing xl and those type of rides, all the all the tiers except for black, because he doesn't have a black account. Um, because in Phoenix they're limited, and you have to, you can't get one unless you know somebody that has one, and they're opting out, and they'll sell it to you. Um, so uh, anyway, yeah, so that's going to be coming up soon. As soon as they put me on the insurance. I'm going to be going out in the Suburban on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday nights when I don't have the Prius to start learning the ropes and figuring out what's going on. Because my friend who does do all those tiers struggles, but he has numerous private customers that he's had and acquired over the last 20 years. So he still does all his private clients. Um... The difference is I will be able to be on the black platform and that can make a difference. So we're basically going to look at, I'm going to see how it goes and how it starts working out um, before we go and buy a newer black Suburban because the one that I'm going to be in is a 2013 and we're not sure how much longer they're going to allow it on the platform. Or on the higher platforms anyway. Um, so uh, my dad's looking at, you know, buying a newer one. Um, but I told him, I can't just go out there. I Before you buy a newer car, let me go out in the old car first. Um, you know, and, and get to learn the ropes and see if it's really worthwhile. All right. So anyway... Have a good day. I'm going to go in the house and give my dogs their treats and go to sleep. Good night.